the very organization uh, and chemistry and DNA of the body itself. Very good statement. I call that proof of our intelligent biblical creator, not of evolution. And one of the keys, and you know this, but most folks don't understand this, Dr. Baugh, is that every old earth belief is, is based on a belief that the earth's sediment layers that make up the crust form slowly over billions of years. Well, there's sedimentary layers that were laid down by water. Ooh, that might be a hint. Oh, yes, there. And we have on this program examined some of these sedimentary layers that mm -hmm. actually circumnavigate the entire globe. They encompass the entire globe. In order to have sedimentary deposits, you must have waterborne activity. Exactly. So this screams a global flood. A global flood. But that is ignored by the geologic community at large, even though we have very fine geologists who hold to Earth as being created, the worldwide flood, and a young history to all of it. And just so the, the viewers know, they have to deny the global flood because if there was a global flood, it wipes out every old earth belief, which are all based on the sediments forming slowly. Yes. The global flood explains how they form quickly, and thus it's scientific and viable to believe in the young earth described in scripture. And I actually hate to use the term young earth because actually some folks say to me, oh, so you don't believe in an old earth? And I say, oh, I do, I do. I believe it's probably 6,000 years old. It's pretty old. That's a long time. It really is. <laughs> Anyway, the flood evidences are overwhelming, and actually the only difference between believing in the recent creation and the old creation is how the stratus formed and what event laid them down and how long yes. ago they laid them down. That's the only real difference, but as we discussed, the crust of the earth is primarily made of sedimentary layers of rock laid down by water. And, of course, they're full of billions of fossils which were buried in the flood before they could rot away. And before the flood, there were ecological conditions this audience needs to know about. Mm -hmm. Greater atmospheric pressure, greater concentration of oxygen and carbon dioxide, greater electromagnetic energy. So it would be consistent that in the fossil record, we would find such things. Tell us about this creature. This is incredible. Well, this is a 15-foot turtle, and we call these giant creatures and plants as well, pre-flood plants, or, or excuse me, they call them prehistoric today, and sort of shovel them off to the side like they don't want to talk about them. But I actually call them pre-flood plants and animals because we do find giant creatures in the strata layers and giant plants that are, oh, Cattail reeds that grow maybe 10 feet today have been found that are 90 plus feet tall, fossilized. Yes. So we know that the original creation, the pre flood world, was very much different than the post flood cursed junkyard we live in today. That's right. Functions so much better. And the reason that's important to understand is we just need to start thinking about how awesome heaven's going to be. It's going to be beyond our imaginations. We don't want to I miss agree. it. But the global flood evidence is. Con consist of geologic compression events where sometimes entire mountain ranges are squished together like an accordion with up to 160 degree bends in the rock. This is one of my favorite photographs. If we have a slow accumulation of these deposits over millions, tens, and hundreds of millions of years of time, you would never get this effect. This exactly. has to be laid down very rapidly, very and rapidly. that's specifically what we find in the biblical record in the recent creation event, and that, uh, that screams against old age and old earth. Because if they formed slowly, they would have hardened into rock, and the event that smashed them would have cracked them into billions or trillions Certainly. of pieces, but they're not broken. They're they're bent but not broken because yes. they were still moist sediment layers yes. at the end of the flood. Well stated. Polystrate fossils. fossils. Now I've seen some of your shows where you show some really spectacular examples, but these are tree fossils here and as, as viewers can see they, they traverse multiple strata layers, polystrata. Yeah. Yeah. To make this uh, easy for the audience to understand, polystrate, poly means many, straight means strata or mm -hmm. layer. So various living systems, fossils, once living fossils, that traverse, go through various sedimentary layers. If, according to evolutionary theory, depending on which university you graduate from, one inch of this sedimentary layer uh, takes 150,000 to 2 million years to accumulate. Well, how did that tree remain in place? Uh, 1,000 years, let alone 150,000 or 2 million years, <laughs> exactly. and, and that, 
that's much more than one inch. So it would have to be there tens of millions of years mm -hmm. in place. Exactly. It, it, it is totally illogical. It's against the facts. And yet, the modern educational system sequesters the facts, only relates specifically what the evolutionary theory mandates ignores the rest mm -hmm. and often sequesters the rest. Exactly. So we have common questions here. So now these can be explained through the global flood. They, they yes. sank to the bottom after they waterlogged and the layers were laid down quickly. But you know, common questions that we get today, even inside of the church, because for the past 200 years now, people have been trying to figure out how do we fit millions and billions of years of death and suffering into God's word and so we've got a lot of different beliefs now that don't come from scripture inside the church so what i try to do is to help those folks see the truth so we can good. drop these old earth beliefs we yes. put death before man's sin but one common question is can't the hebrew word for day uh... yom some people say yom but i believe yom is the official definition or pronunciation also mean a long period of time well now it is true that the word could be used to represent a long period of time, but the context, and we always have to look at, at Scripture in the correct context, Certainly. always show that Yom is used as a day in the creation accounts. And always throughout classical and biblical Hebrew, if the ordinal, that is a number, if the ordinal, uh, ordinal is in front of the word Yom, it is specifically a 24-hour day, exactly. a normal day, always. And I believe that's almost 359, 360 times in the Old Testament. It always refers to a literal day when used with that numerical prefix. And yes. only in the, in the book of Genesis does anyone question it. And that's because they're trying to fit secular beliefs in millions yes. of years into the Bible. Some of the evidences of the young earth, though, are really quite spectacular. We talked about the polystrata fossils and the geologic mm -hmm. compression events, but carbon dating measures carbon-14 in organic remains. And scientists that work with the dating methods, they pretty much agree that the carbon-14 that they're measuring would decay away and be gone in somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 years. Certainly less than 100,000. So yes. let's give them 100,000, though, just to be generous. Sure. And what we found, though, today, research finds that all fossil-bearing layers to the bottom of the Cambrian, which is supposed to be, what, 580 million supposed years old, to be. which is 5,800 100,000 year periods of time still have carbon-14 in them. So those ages are not there. They're just fabricated. They're not there. The uh, All coal found has always contained carbon-14. We're told it's 250 million years old. And now diamonds. All the diamonds have, that have been tested even in secular laboratories mm -hmm. have been found to have carbon-14 in them. But there is no way, diamond is, is so dense, mm -hmm. there is no way it could have leached in, right. couldn't leach out, so it's accurate. That means that even the diamonds, rather than having been compressed uh, 225 to 375 million years ago, actually were formed a few thousand years ago. Scientific proof. And the worldwide flood is far superior. Now, as well, you know, because you pointed out the hardness of the diamonds, the secularists try to say, well, it was contaminated with carbon-14, but the studies have been very careful to avoid any contamination, and diamonds don't get contaminated easily because right. they're so hard. That's right. So dense. Here we have a Darwinian worldview in the tree of life. Well, time is so rapidly uh, running. Let's come to the climax. Uh, here we have Romans chapter 1 that certainly applies. Professing to be wise, they became fools, and they changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man and birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. It sounds like people are going to be fooled. Now, that doesn't mean that we're stupid. It just we can, There are brilliant people Certainly. that believe in, in well, evolution.